Uh, this is a chat tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use subpixel precision to um, chat a game like Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, so I have this movie right. This is going to be the um, be an improvement to the current published 100% uh, movie. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you that um, what I do is I start running here. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a safe state. Um, I'm gonna stop the movie because I don't want to re-record over anything that I've done. And I'm gonna save state four, for example. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to jump through a particular block, and I'll show you which block I'm gonna jump through. I want to jump through this block right here, just that one. Um. So what what I want you to do is through the duration of this tutorial, I want you to. Um, focus on this value right here. So it says zero at the moment. Okay. Um, it's X velocity, so it's the horizontal velocity of Mario. So it's how fast Mario is traveling horizontally. If you want to test Super Mario Bros. 3, the address of this is 00 DD. So um, what I want to do is I want to fr find um, the first frame where Mario can jump and land on top of the block. So if I um, jump right now for one frame, um, I'm not going to make it. If I were to uh, wait two frames and then press jump for one frame, I'm not going to make it. If I were to press, um, if I were to wait for three frames and then press jump, I am going to make it. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use three frames. So three frames and jump. Okay. So um, now what I want to do. I want you to do is really focus on X velocity right here. Um, it's 56 in the moment, and that's the maximum possible speed that you can get. Um, if I were to continue on, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to land on top of the block, and I don't want that to happen. I'm going to slow down a little bit so that I can make it through the block. So if I were normally most people when they're tapping, they say, "Okay, well, um, we've got to press it back for one frame." Uh, I'm going to make it not make it on top of the block. If I press back to two frames, I'm going to make it on top of the block. If I press back to three frames, I'm going to end up not going on top of the block. I'm going to fall down beside it. Now, the thing is, that's not very precise. And you'll see that um, when I, if you're watching the X velocity right here. So it's 56. And let's say I slow down. Um, it's going through a lot of numbers, and I really don't know how much um, speed I've actually lost. So, um, what I want to do is, I want to, instead of, instead of pressing back for a few frames, what I'm going to do is, I'm only going to press back for one frame, and my speed's going to go down to 54, and it's going to go up to 55, and 56. So, I've slowed down just a tiny little bit when I do that. So, um, you uh, so anyway, if you were to slow down to 54, right, my speed's 54, it could have been 56, so technically I've lost two units. When I, the next frame, it's 55, so it could have been 56, so I've lost another unit. So that means I've lost, um, three units so far. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the state here. Now, considering that my speed is 55, um, right here, and at any moment, if I, because I'm not really, I'm not actually holding anything except, um, except B, I'm not holding anything, and as you can see, um, he actually doesn't make it on top of the block, because he's traveling just a little bit slower than he would normally. Now, but at any time, I can press forward, and my speed will instantly jump up to 56, okay? So, um, as long as my, my speed is 55, and that's just one sub-pixel per second slower. So each frame that my, my speed is 55, I'm losing one sub-pixel. So, uh, let's say, let's say I want to lose 10 extra sub-pixels. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And bring it back up to 56 by pressing forwards. And it looks like I make it through the block. Now that's, that was reasonably easy to do. And, um, that shouldn't take you more than 10 re-records to get through the block, first try. Um, I've tried 
makes sense. So I'm going to try um, 9 now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 frames where my speed is 55, and then I'm going to bring my speed back up to 56. And it looks like he makes it on top of the block. So that was a massively good guess. Okay? Um, because my speed was 55, so I'm going to advance 9 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And save a state. Um, pressing forward will make you go on top of the block. So if I was to make my speed go up to 56 in the first possible frame, um, I am going to um, I'm going to land on top of the block. So that's the fastest possible situation um, at this point in time after I've loaded this stage thing. But if I keep it one subpixel slower, so I keep my speed at 55 for one more frame, and I lose one extra subpixel and bring it back up to 56, um, I fall through the block. So I know that that is optimal at the moment. So that's basically it. Um, I find watching velocity is um, the easiest way to do it, but you can also watch sub subpixel here and X, but um, most likely you're going to have to find that somewhere else. Um, in this one, I've got um, the address is 074D for the subpixel, and 009D is how many pixels. Um, yeah, you can also use the, su uh, the address for subpixels to see how many subpixels you are um, you're behind or ahead. But personally, I prefer velocity, and it just seems easier. It's a little bit hard to understand, but after you've from experience, I can tell you that it's easier. So yeah, thanks for watching this video tutorial and have a good one.